Hi, and welcome to my blog. Aspiring writers are often told to write about what they know. So why shouldn't the same advice apply to new videographers, I thought. Now, I've often shared images on my blog that were taken in my front yard, or indeed my backyard, and it's an area I know intimately. So what better place to start than in my own backyard? One of my main locations is a raised bed in the backyard. It's just a few feet long. I should explain we have no lawn or grass, no flower beds to speak of, just paving slabs, decking and a large array of pots and containers of all sizes and shapes. When we moved up north, we left behind us two large gardens, mature trees, shrubs, lawns and flower beds, so coming to a house in a tiny front yard and a very small backyard was a culture shock. As the flowers and shrubs start to bloom and the colours start to explode around the yard, my activity increases and I capture many flower images for no other reason than I enjoy using the camera and testing my skills at what is a deceptively challenging genre. Every year, usually a spring starts to kick in. I get the macro lens out of the cupboard and attach it to one of my Nikons and I leave it easily accessible downstairs. This is the time of the year but I can often be found pottering, looking for new growth or interesting details to photograph. As it gets warmer, the bees, wasps and other buzzing insects also make their appearance. And for many years I've been trying to capture one of them in flight, with varying degrees of success, it must be said. Another very useful role my yard plays it's in giving me somewhere to test new kit or to practice new techniques without having to go very far at all. Time-lapse photography is something I enjoy. I have made many such sequences in the backyard as I practice setting the camera up, using the app and producing sets of images on which to try out post-processing. But don't let the colourful images fool you, it does rain here too. I've also tested the video functions on my camera in the backyard and it could be argued that this video itself is a result of me testing the Fuji X-T20 recently. I hope you've enjoyed this quick look around my outdoor studio. I'll be back soon with some more random musings. Or well, perhaps I should be notes from a small brain. Until then, take care.